Hi there, so in this one I'm going to talk about how to make a get request or a post request in your Sapper project. So here I am in my Sapper project. I've made a few changes. Um, I've taken out some stuff, um, nothing important there. This is what the get.svelte looks like and this is what post.svelte looks like. I just deleted the blog and re um, replaced the about page. And in nav.svelte, that's what it looks like. Um, and server looks the same. Okay, so first thing that you're gonna need to do is listen to me talk about my Patreon. So if you want, you can join my Patreon or like and subscribe. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna stop the server and you're gonna need to npm install save, uh, save express. So you probably can do this with Polka also, but express is more popular and I know how to do it here with express. So express is installed and rather than Polka, we're gonna use express. So this will become express. And right here, you're gonna do const, well, actually I'll do it up here. You're gonna do const app equals express. Okay, and then right here, it'll be, wait, I guess we can delete the whole line. It'll be app.use that. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need to do before you start with anything else is app.use express.url encoded. That's one thing. And the other thing is app.use express.json. Okay, so this will let you send JSON or URL encoded uh, information, like for a post, to the server. Okay, so you're gonna have to do all that. And let's start with get. So another thing you're gonna have to do is create a server route, like an API. So to do that, I'm going to call it API, and it's going to be .js. Okay, so that's what you're going to call from here. You're going to do a fetch of get API uh, like that. Okay, so in here, in your get API, you're going to do export function, call it get res rec next. Um, I'm just going to use response right now that res okay so let's say you call it and then it's going to run this function so console.log hi okay so i'm going to save that here i am in get.svelte get something fetch get api okay save that let's see if that works i'm going to have to start the server again okay so here at get is it ready Okay, so here's a server and then I click get and it says hi. Okay, so I clicked get, it fetched get API and that triggered this function here. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna show you for now. If you wanna do fancier stuff, whatever you can, but that's just kind of the basics. So now for the post, I'm gonna do a post API. And remember, you need to do all those things in your server to get post to work. All these guys here. Okay, so post API is going to be export function post rec res next. Oops, I think I did it backwards last time. Sorry. So request, response, and what happens next. Again, I'm not gonna really get into that. I'm just gonna show you the most basic way to send post data. Okay, so here in post.svelte, what we're gonna do is fetch post API, comma, and then we're gonna send this, these uh, parameters, data, whatever. So the method is going to be post. Okay, and then headers, we're gonna have to specify if we're sending JSON data or URL encoded. So either will work because we put them both here in the server, it'll accept either kind. If you're just gonna use JSON, then you could just use the JSON one. So here it'll be content type will be application slash JSON. Okay, and then after that we'll have body um, json.stringify whatever data here. So uh, I'll just call it, or so it'll be a an object data yum. Okay, so it'll send this data to uh, the post API here. 
Okay, so then we can do console.log request.body and see what we get. So we're not doing get. We get rid of these. Okay, is that going to work? Hopefully I did that all right. So post, post. Cool, so the data got there. Data, yum. So yeah, so do do something a bit more interesting rather than just always posting yum. We can delete that and then call or set a variable here. Oops. Let data equal yum. And then we'll be able to change it from an input here. So input bind value equals data save. And now we have yum right there and I can so if I post, it'll say yum, but now I can also say hi there, and it'll post hi there. So that's something else you can do. Um, from there, you can do anything you could do um, in anything else with your request next. But that's just the basics of how to get it set up in your Sapper app. Let me know if you have any questions or if you know how to do any of this better than I did or just have any ideas. Okay, thank you. Bye.